Well, hello to my beautiful peoples. How are you today? This is Katrina Reese with Katrina Reese LLC. And I wanted to come on and talk to you really briefly about the spirit of excellence. The scripture, Daniel 5 and 12, is where I'm going to be coming from. And I remember my spiritual father uh, told us when we were in MIT uh, class at one time, when you start operating in your ministries, and you will, you will begin to draw two type of people. There'll be people that will just do things just to get by. And there'll be people that will operate in the spirit of excellence that you operate in. So however you operate while you're in someone else's ministry, you will have people either to do one or the other, operate in the spirit of excellence or just do just enough to get by. And I've learned that over the years with working with people in my ministry. I have some people that have the same spirit that I do that operate in the spirit of excellence, that they know that whatever we do, we do to the glory of God. And that's what it's all about. It's not about us. It's not about shining um, our own light, but it's about doing that which is giving glory to God and done in his excellence. So let me read the scripture, Daniel 5 and 12. It says, and I'm reading from the English Standard Version. It says, because an excellent spirit, knowledge and understanding to interpret dreams, explain riddles and solve problems were found in this Daniel, whom the king named Belteshar. Belteshar. I think that's how it is. Belteshar. Belteshar. Now let Daniel be called and he will show the interpretation. In this time that we are in, and even before the pandemic, I would say that a lot of people weren't operating in the spirit of excellence. A lot of times when we are doing something and we say that God has called us to do this, we should not be slacking. We should not um, be doing it in a way that we're cutting corners, but we should be doing it in and operating in excellence. Now, there's not to say that sometimes you won't have enough finances or resources to get something done. But if you don't, God will always send something or someone to help you in that area. So remember, what you do for Christ will last. How you do it on the earth, we are only stewards. And he's given us these things as a steward over it, not to call it mine, but it is his. He gives us the power to do those things in his name. So I want you to remember, do all things to the glory of God. Do all things in excellence. And if you find yourself not operating in excellence, go back to the drawing board and look at it again and say, God, how do you want me to handle this? How do you want me to do this? How do you want us, my husband and I, to raise our children? How do you want me or my husband and I to operate or my friend to operate our business? How do you want me to write this book? How do you want me to start this business? How do you want me how do you want me to get closer to you? You know, what are the things that I need to do? God show me, help me because he will. Because the word of God says first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. It's not by your power and it's not by your will, but it is by his might, saith the Lord. I love you so much. And again, I wanted to come and talk to you about operating in excellence. Everybody doesn't operate like we operate. And that's okay. They'll get it. Don't condemn them and don't get upset. But if it's something that's been assigned to your hands to do, do it with the spirit of excellence. I love you so much and God does too. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. God is doing a new thing and I absolutely love what he's doing. Again, I love you and God does too. Be blessed.